you mentioned that yeah. uh, with artificial intelligence there is a possibility of uh, the unemployment among people increasing i mean the same was the concern in uh, early 80s when uh, computerization was introduced in india in particularly the banks there were bank strikes saying that people will be unemployed but now the number of uh, bank employees has increased sixfold yeah. and uh, the computers are also there so i have a feeling that uh, the mundane jobs will be done by artificial intelligence uh, humans will do a more productive work that is what has happened to banks also now we need more Because skilled you. workers as compared to unskilled workers yeah so that's why the upgradation of people have to take place with skilling yeah so it needs it is an apprehension that's what i have mentioned people will be oh, they, it's an apprehension it is just mentioning happen. only we, it may not happen yeah but in india we are having more <coughs> skilled workers more as compared to the industries also so that's where when the transition is taking place it may happen but as yeah. the days progress when more and more people get skilled in these technologies so then the unemployment will not be there so we have to upgrade yeah. our knowledge once again yeah the skill development ministry has to work harder yeah yeah so it has to come in the real sense thank you and our with new education policy i think these things can be taken into consideration technology however advanced it may be it always helps to improve our livelihood it may not be detrimental so it always helps to adapt and cope with the changing technology no technology will create unemployment basically it creates more and more unemployment like the it has created a whole world of the employment opportunity in the current era similarly this artificial intelligence machine learning and all it will create it will open an another area of the employment and ultimately it will help improve our livelihood there is no way is going to create any unemployment or something i hope uh, professor morley will agree with me yeah so certainly yeah. Yeah. so that's where so, our new education policy has to go towards creating people with more skills exactly exactly sir the what i was looking at uh, from the presentation of murli sir also was that uh, 5g and 6g but what about the affordability and the connectivity in rural areas once again it is really a challenge as it was mentioned the how to get the connectivity so all these things the even in the connectivity in the cities itself may be difficult but as such in the rural areas we don't have connectivity so what i face also with the online teaching going on classes and there is a big challenge and for a country like india where remote corners are there and the connectivity how it can be done is really challenging and everyone has to come together private public and the government so that we can have better connectivity